guys with the video and today I'm just making the pro predictions too. This is technically the second version but a lot of things have gone down since the last one I've done a couple about a week or two or so ago. Because Steep recently managed for Newcastle, a couple of signs and teams and I'm thinking about that. So I'm making a redo of it. Might as well, shouldn't I? Anyways, in twenty I thought we'd break in. I've learned about this field. I didn't really have to explain it. Glenn Murray's 34. I can carry a team to survival. Just ain't going to do it though. And then they win the league. Oh yeah, imagine. No, they won't. And now they beat Bournemouth. Just see them doing uh, the Cardiff. Just don't know. No, they're not. I just feel like they're just not going to do well Paddy the this season. Third or fourth season, curse. Like Mourinho. Uh -huh. well, that's what I think is going to happen with them. In 98, I went for Newcastle. Uh, for starters, Steve Bruce is manager. Two, Rafa Benitez has left them. Three, they sell pretty much most of their best players. And four, I feel like they're pure shite. Like I'm sorry if that's a million. You can see my red can't you? Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry, language. But, um, I feel like Steve Bruce is just going to get a mid season sacking. Someone's going to try to save them. Whoever they get, the manager is not going to do the best as well, and they're going down to the championship. And 17th, I've actually gone for Sheffield United. I think they're going to do with Cardiff, but this time survive. And not get relegated like Cardiff. Um, you know, because I see what happens. It happens. I don't even know why I accept that for a explanation, but in 16th, I've gone for Bournemouth. No, I'm not Bournemouth, Brighton. I mean, oh, well, Lord, Burnley. Burnley, because when they had European football, they didn't do the best. And the kits are do do for starters for this season. I feel like it's not going to do it this time. I think Sean Dice is going to get them in the fight mood. So, you know, I think the Norwich 15, I think they're going to give it a really good crack. They've got a really good one to go in loan. Still, I don't think it's enough for them to do that well. But I still think 15 is decent for a team like them. I mean, they ain't that bloody bad. But it's still solid if you think that's good. Norwich, all team foot food. Think they're gonna do what they did last season, shock the world, get into the FA Cup final, not the FA Cup final, do well in the FA Cup, do alright in the league on fourteenth, be a good pre season. Thirteenth for for Palace, Crystal Palace. I don't even know I'll put it, I thought they were actually get relegated, they sold Wimbasako and they're probably gonna sell Zaha to um Arsenal. So I just think their team's not good enough for help them, so that's why they're going down. They're not going down, not doing the best. 12 I for Southampton. I think this season they're going to have a comfortable season. I think they're going to go completely above the relegation zone. I think they're going to go really midway down the table. I think mid table will be decent for Southampton. I think that's good. And Levin Everton, just don't see Everton doing this well this season. Especially with John Pickford, who's been a bit shaky in some games last season. Kind of affected this season, I think. Sanford went for West Ham. The kit ain't the best. Lanzini's that's going to probably carry the team. It's just a one man side, I think, in my opinion, at least. So that's why I picked them there. In none for one for Villa. I think Villa spend a lot of money, yeah, they're not gonna do a full and get that out of your head, you ever think that's gonna happen. They so intriguing. Matt Tog, Wesley Moores, Douglas Breeze, Breeze. They've actually seen loads of players who are really talented and really great last season. And I just see Villa's gonna do a really good wolves this this season. Speaking of wolves, in eight wolves. Why do they have a European football rich in this corner? It's going to be a struggle, but I think they're going to do well in that. 
but a little badder in the league. That's what I think. That one. Seven for a philosophy. James Madison. Amazing. They saw Perez from Newcastle. Wasn't the best, wasn't the worst, so. And he nearly went on Liverpool the league. Well, that one didn't happen, did it? Hmm. Anyways, yeah. I put them there. Yes, they have actually good potential. Both people were saying top four, even Europa League, is going to be their kind of season. And guess what? I think that's going to be like that too. Because I just feel like it's just going to be that this season. It's going to be a typical season, I feel, in the world of them. So, yeah. So, Chelsea, I feel Frank Lampard's not going to get sacked that early. I think he's going to stay a season. A bit shaky, a bad start, but he turns it up upside down. But then does well. They have sold Hazard to Real Madrid. That's a big loss. I mean, that's a big loss. They sold Courtois last season, but they have got Kepa. I think it's still pretty much the same level as Courtois. Well, it was a big flop at Real Madrid, but you know, it's pretty comfy. I feel like it's pretty simple with them. And before we um, move on to a uh, fifth, look, subscribe, turn those notifications, also, you never ever miss an upload. So, yeah. Why do I ever say that every time? Good. Okay, in fifth, I've got all these at the wheels, all these Man United. I feel like Man United. I'm going to do the best. Pogba's probably going to Real Madrid in the first place. I think certain players are getting older. And it's just not going to be a good season for them in general. I just don't see it coming. And, you know, yeah. I just feel that's going to happen. Thumbs up. Boom. Mm. <laughs> In fourth, I went for Arsenal. I've just seen them doing it this season. They're going to overcome Man United and Chelsea and the rest of the top four. Their kits are absolutely banging. I admit it, they're banging. When I say banging, their kits are gorgeous. 10 out of 10 for their home, away, and alternative for their away kit, and maybe even their alternative kit. I think Arsenal absolutely smashed their lad. And they've got Lacazette, Bumiang, they've got Bellerin, they've got Leno, they've got, uh, not the best defence, but still a good team in general to think about. The third one for Tottenham, they're going to do good. The rent is going to do well for them. They're going to do well in the Champions League and everything, you know what, etc, etc, etc. I'll put Tottenham third because everyone's predicted it's going to be that, and you know, who's next, and that, and etc. Because I just see it happening, and you guys probably see it too happening. Yeah. Second, I went for Man City. I know I'm a Liverpool supporter, even though I won the Chelsea kit, but it's a good design, so that's why I'm wearing it. Uh, I'm wearing this shirt because I like it, so nice. In Man City in second, they've got some of these, spent a lot of money on Audrey, but he ain't the best. Uh, Eco Madrid, he wasn't the best, so I feel like it's not the best move. Fadinho is getting better every eight year he gets older. He's nearly 34 or 5, but he's getting better every season. That's what I like about him. With the football world record, but in real life, I ain't old at all. He can still go for a couple more seasons. And in FIFA, yes, he's very old to go down there, but give the man some respect. In FIFA, I don't make it so they go down like. Up, down, you know. And then generally, the son is still in the Guerrero, we've got Lund, we want to count him. They've got loads of good materials. They've got Silvers, Kevin De Bruyne, they've got Walker, Forte. And I feel like there's need one more signing what could do the thing, the whole thing for them. And I will talk about that in a couple of videos' time, so yeah. And Liverpool in first. They're the champions of Europe at this current time of making this. They're Liverpool are champions. My team are going to win the league. And I think I've done a couple. I've done a prediction last year. I've put Liverpool second. I was right, but this year 
bubbles go in the space. And I think it's going to be the start of one and of everything in the world. So yeah. Ding. And that is the end of my Premier League predictions video, guys. I know it was not the best video. It was a bit better than the other one. Ten minutes long as well. The quality is better because it's ten minutes long. And... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. That's bluffing point, guys. I actually do not know what I'm doing. Oh my god, that's weird down here. Wait, what the? Oh my god, guys. See you later. And I think Red Run won't be like, covering FIFA 20. I didn't know if it's true or not. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.